Let's move on. We got the Atlanta Falcons traveling to Chicago to face the Bears, where the Bears will be three point favorites. Bears running really hot lately, coming off of that win over the Cardinals. Not in the playoff picture in the NFC, just barely outside of it. And have to imagine that if Justin Fields never got hurt, this might have been a team that made a wild card spot this season. But looking at this game here, over under 38 points, Bears find themselves as three point favorites. Schwartz, you're no longer in Chicago. But the Bears seem to have been playing a lot better since you left Chicago. So how are you feeling about them this week? Yeah, we'll do that stat real quick. Uh, since I moved from Chicago, the Bears have not lost a game at Soldier Field. They've only lost one game in the past month. And it is the game it, not only where I live now in Cleveland, but I decided to attend that ball game. So I'm really sorry to all the Bears fans. I was even at two of those uh, unlikely to lose ten, you know, less than 10%, 10 10-point league game. So sorry about that one. But the team's phenomenal at this point in the season. Loving where they're at. I uh, wish we had been seeing this football all along because this is re- this isn't just a better team. This is a really fun team uh, with Justin Fields is getting out, running for almost 100 yards in a game. Uh, I think he could do similar stuff uh, in this game against the Falcons, not necessarily with his legs, but in terms of having a really productive game against the defense that is 28th in past DVOA. 28th in past DVOA. That's crazy. Despite being fifth in success rate, which means... If they're not giving up a lot of bad plays, but they're 28th at the DVOA, that means the issue plays are really bad. So we this has to be a big play defense in terms of you know being bad at giving up big plays. Absolutely great. I mean, Justin Fields, he's not always pinpoint, but he has a big arm. He has an ability to make big plays. DJ Moore, one of the better downfield threats in the entire sport right now. And the Bears, conversely, the other side of the football, run D for DVOA, success rate, Line yards and EPA, they are exactly third in each one. So nice little tidy number. I think the Bears, we can safely say, are exactly the third best run defense in football uh, by all those metrics. So they can shut down a lot of what makes the Falcons decent offensively. Not that the Falcons' rushing metrics are very good, but we know their most talented player uh, is Bijan Robinson. Tyler Algiers has his moments, and the Bears can slow down a lot of what they like to do. So Playing at home and against a Southern Dome team in Chicago in the winter. I mean, I guess it's not winter uh, with this current weather, but at least it's kind of like gross 40s rain or whatever. Uh, Falcons shouldn't be comfortable, and the Bears should have plenty of opportunities to succeed on both sides of the ball. I love the Bears to cover a field goal. Yeah, Schwartz and I are head-to-head on this one, and I think it's finally time to sell high on the Bears. Uh, I've been happy to back them a lot recently, and but most of that has come as underdogs. I've been backing them a lot as underdogs in these games. Now we see them as a favorite. And Justin Fields in his career, 4-10 and 10 against the spread, 28% as a favorite or an underdog of three or less. It's time to sell the Bears. And the Falcons are playing a lot better now. I think Taylor Heineke, not a perfect quarterback, but he at least doesn't turn the ball over every other snap like Desmond Ritter did, who some of his interceptions are legitimately the worst interceptions I've ever seen. He would just hand the other team the football. Uh, there's a lot of downside for the Bears passing game. Schwartz is talking about the Bears passing game having, having success here. DJ Moore had an ankle injury last week. And Cole Komet is going to be out this week. So your top two pass catchers are potentially DJ Moore's going to play, but there's a potential downside there. And I think the Bears, it's been been a fun story watching this team on the come up, but let's look at their six wins this season. They beat the Cardinals last week. They have a win over Jared Goff outdoors. They beat the Panthers, the Raiders with Brian Hoyer, the Vikings with Josh Dobbs, and the Commanders. It's about as bad as it gets in terms of a resume at this point in the season. Falcons are healthier in the trenches now. David Onyemata is back in the lineup. Seventh highest graded defensive tackle, according to PFF. Falcons elite, elite run defense. First in EPA, fifth in DVOA. Bears run the ball at the third highest rate. If Komet is out and DJ Moore is limited, you're only going to be skewing more run heavy, in my opinion. And yeah, people hate on Arthur Smith, but Matt Eberflus is a terrible coach too. Uh, the Bears just find ways to blow these games. And I'm happy to fade them in a spot where I think we've pretty much reached the top of the market. Falcons still with plenty left to play for. And you're getting two run-heavy teams with a low total. Happy to take the underdog of a full field goal in this game. Cody, any thoughts from you? Um, I don't have anything on the spread, but I'm going to see how high this total can climb before I take an under. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked the way it moved. Open 37, it's now 38. I thought we kind of just would have hovered around 37. I went ahead and made a, make a choice at that key number. I mean, both teams, I mean, they're impressive run-stopping units. They bask up a majority of their success on the run. It will be interesting to see what Fields does. Um, Kind of with, I mean, you hate to say I need I need him to be called upon to use his legs more because like it just hasn't been the case. Um, he is, uh, is DJ Moore is going to be dealing with an injury? Cole Komet's gone, safety blanket there. So I mean, I'm just factoring in that offense taking a step back and then just 
I mean, I've given up on the Falcons offense. I don't even have adjectives for them anymore. Poor coaching, um, especially Arthur Smith, horrific red zone play caller. I mean, that could greatly swing uh, momentum towards an under with a dead drive there. I, I'm, I, I really, really like this under. I'm just, you know, I'm in no rush to play it. Um, it's climbing up, and I want to get at its highest point before I play in on it. Cody, if I forced to, if I forced you to make a pick between these two teams on the spread, who, which side are you leaning towards? Where's the off button? How do I leave this? <laughs> um, if I had to make a pick, uh, what are we using? Three, three. I gotta go Falcons. Uh, give me the give me the key number of three. Just kind of with if I'm gonna have it a tight game and I want to correlate to my under, I gotta take the dog. Yeah, and Schwartz. By the way. The Bears could easily win this game by one or two points. The Falcons seem to find ways to lose by one or two points every single week. So I'm going to take the value on the key number there. And I'm happy to root for your Bears to win. I just I just need it to be by one or two points in this one. Um, but yeah, I like the Falcons in this spot.